Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach, and today your interior designer. Now, what I mean by that is that we really are designers when we're painting. It's not that we need to copy photographs exactly. It is how we interpret them and how we add or, or take away design elements. Now, here's a good example of it in John Singer Sargent's The Spanish Dancer. I think we're pretty familiar with this image, but what we tend not to notice are those fellows in the background. Take a look at the band <laughs> and their faces and the way they're, they're playing their guitars. This was something that he created. I don't think this is something he saw. I think he saw, saw these different images either in his head or in life and created, created them on this canvas in that way. And look at just the dot of that uh, orange on the chair. This fellow's thinking all the time, and he is designing as well as painting. Now let's take a look at another fellow who I really admire, Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer, almost every painting, you will find that he throws in a red spot. Because I don't think that this uh, image, as he saw it, if he saw it in, in, uh, you know, in a photograph, in a, in, a, in a newspaper, I don't think the scarf was red, but he creates that red, which is so dynamic and so full of uh, symbol, symbolization as well. Here he goes again, see the red shirt, as well as the red dots of the foliage. He's designing all the time. So of course he's a wonderful draftsman, a wonderful observer, but then I think like all of us, he takes a certain license to be able to enhance by using design. And here comes another example of where he does that. Um, I forget the name of this uh, paint, painting, it's so gripping, but look how he uses red there. I mean, not only to contrast that orange with its complement of the blue, but, you know, to imply blood in the water. Oh my gosh, what a designer and storyteller he is in this painting. Uh, this is such a remarkable image. So let's take a look at another painter. The next painter is Edward Hopper, and that's coming up. Uh, Edward Hopper, his paintings almost look as if they're stage uh, sets. And I know we're all familiar with this paint painting. Um, it's almost hard to look at these paintings with new eyes because we've seen them and they've been part of our memory for so long. He also uses that pop of red. But he's also, you can just imagine this, as I said, on a stage or in a movie, the, the first scene as you zoom in. Um, so he is designing all the time. He's not at He's not wedded to the accuracy of having to get the image exactly the way it appeared in real life. And I think that as artists, I'm, or as an artist myself, I'm trying to remind myself of that all the time. It's not enough to be a matchy-matchy painter. It's really important to design and make careful decisions, and maybe even playful decisions too. I mean, part of this is having some fun and having some humor. Here's some humor right here you know that that potted plant was not there. I, maybe there was a potted plant, but I don't think it was waving to the left as the sweeper is moving to the, I mean, waving to the right as the sweeper is moving to the left. I think that's a touch of whimsy and a touch of humor on uh, Hopper's part. And I don't think he was really known for whims, whimsy or humor, but I know was, he was known for his careful composition and it worked so beautifully there, as well as that one strip of that really light green at the top uh, where the man's feet are. Uh, you know, that's just smart. Here's Fairfield Porter. I'm, I'm a real fan of his. Uh, look at the clouds. First of all, the clouds in the sky and the way he frames that farmhouse. But look at those clouds. I don't think the clouds were that way. That's design. That is pure design. Uh, look at the cart behind the woman. I don't think the cart was there. Again, I think that's design on his part, creating balance and complementary shapes. And once again, Fairfield Porter is using the red that Winslow Homer uses so effectively. So let's think about being designers and having the freedom to create. That's my tip for the day. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.